Everyone, it's Shane here. Um, the other day I saw a few posts after I'd done some work with uh, Tanya to set up her intranet site, so I thought it might be beneficial to you to have a look at how I did that. So I'm about to set up my own intranet site for my new endeavour called The Flow Guys to get some flow into your business. So what I have done was create a free Gmail address um, shown at theflowguys.com and I'm using that to create the free Google site, uh, intranet site. So why Google uh, sites? Well it's free for a start so it's a good price point. Uh, it is easily accessible uh, and shareable and the security to it can be controlled quite easily by anyone with hardly any um, technical knowledge. Um, and it has all the functionality that you need to run a virtual um, global um, dispersed company. So um, it's pretty much got every uh, function that you need why would you need an intranet, do you think? Well, um, over time what you want to do is try and document every process and procedure inside your business so that others can run it for you. And so that uh, all those processes are repeatable uh, once you get your business to a point at which it's um, deriving good revenue. And once, and through that process of documentation, you also uh, identify uh, processes that can be automated and over time uh, that four hour work week that we are all uh, attempting to achieve can be achieved by putting in place the right systemization, the right automation uh, and the right flow of work through your business uh, as you grow. So making an internet site makes um, good business sense so that you don't have to continue to recreate your, the wheel and you don't uh, lose um, all your important documentation over all, all the different apps that you're no doubt going to have um, as you build your business. So to start with, I've got a, a Gmail account. Now there, there are two ways to get a Gmail account. There's the free one that I've used and I've also used the uh, Google Apps for Work as well. So Google Apps for Work uh, is $5 per email account per month, around $50 odd uh, per year per person. Um, it, it's a good deal. Uh, the other competitor in this space is Office 365 uh, from Microsoft. I've used um, Office 365. It's quite a good product, but it's still um, clunky, uh, high-end Microsoft um, software application where Google is pretty much uh, the most intuitive solution you can have. There's little to no learning curve uh, and pretty much everyone knows how to use it. So I've not yet chosen to use the $5 per month uh, Google Apps for work. I may choose to use that down the track as the business grows. So in the meantime we're using the free Google uh, sites using my uh, Gmail account that I have uh, and so simply uh, browse to sites.google.com and uh, click on create. So to my mind simplicity is everything so the, the KISS principle keep it simple uh, silly or um, superstar whatever you want to call it. Uh, all we really want to do is display information and you if it's an internal uh, company website you don't really need all the bells and whistles, all the fancy uh, graphics, etc. If you've got time or if you've got the inclination to do that down the track, we go for it. But uh, to my mind, simplicity is a key. Uh, so I just choose a blank template. Uh, name a site. Um, for me, uh, just a straight out, um, basically what it is. Um, for you, you can choose to name it or whatever you like. Uh, and then making sure that you're not a robot. Now I'm trying to get those wrong. Okay, so I've chosen blank template. I've named the site. Uh, that relates to the URL that it uses. Um, and I've done the, um, make sure I'm not a robot. Now, just on that, the site 
here will we'll be on the internet um, using this URL. Access will be controlled uh, due to the fact that you haven't shared it to everyone. You've only shared it to those uh, that you would like to have access to. Now, um, if you've got a website, uh, you, you should have access to your host where your website is hosted. You can change, you can add a subdomain to your current uh, domain. For example, um, I've got the, the Flow Guys. Oh, here's our website. Uh, yes, it's brand new, and no, it's not finished, but we're getting there. Uh, I've got the Flow Guys up here. Now, if I what I will do when I finish this in building the internet is make a uh, URL called intranet.theflowguys.com so that anyone in my team just needs to remember that URL. And I'll do some um, mirroring in, the, in my host to make sure that when, or change the DNS settings in my host, basically for that subdomain to point to uh, this domain. So that there's a bit of a lengthy URL to remember. Um, so I'll do that a bit later when we cover today. So just click on create, and I did get that wrong, which is bang. Let's see if we got it right this time. So it says it's creating its site. Let's just talk amongst ourselves while it happens. And just a bit of background for the flow guys. I've always uh, known that um, the key to clearing up your time is automation. And I have a goal that um, you, you can start a business bootstrap. You don't need large capital to create uh, the systems and processes inside a business that the big guys have. I've been working in um, high-end enterprises for the last 30 years, delivering million dollar uh, projects. And all we do is automate businesses. Um, so I've been Part of a project that spent $69 million delivering an automation project, basically, implementation of a large um, piece of software. And that's a lot of money. Uh, guys at the lower end of the market, the small to medium enterprise, they've got all the software tools that they need to uh, get the same end result if you just know how. It's easy when you know how. So, what has happened here is that the site has been created, it's got a title and uh, the first page. So uh, from here, you can uh, edit the page by uh, clicking on this um, pen icon up on the top right. Uh, over here, you can create a new page. You can um, do some other things here, which uh, I'll show you in a second. So we've got the, the front page. So what I might do here is, is try and um, uh, change the page settings. Edit site layer, and I want to add a. Uh, I want to add a logo. So what I did then was um, click on the area above the header, and it comes up with the edit dialog box. And I choose a file, and I go to my logo that I made on PicMonkey the other night, and. Uh, We'll upload that and we'll see what happens to the page. Okay, there we go. So it's either or. So I've got the uh, logo and the page title. So what we might do is try and remove uh, the um, text. I'll just come back to that. So you gotta move the text. What I want to is actually move that for the moment. And I'll come back to that how I want to how I want uh, that to show. But we'll show you how to add a page. Sometimes things don't happen the way they do, and when you're teaching yourself software, you just gotta keep clicking until you find the right thing. And that was the case in point. Uh, I can remember, I, mean, I didn't rehearse this obviously, but I can remember placing the logo in that area 
uh, and not having the text there. Uh, so we'll come back to that at, in another video. So what we want to do now is, I'll just replay that, we want to add another page. For example, um, two main reasons for an internet is having policies and procedures. So the first page I would like to add is a policies uh, page and I'll put it under home and it's a web page. You've got choices there for announcements, file, account, list. It generally does have a web page because you can add the other subcomponents to a web page but you can choose the way you like. And then we click create. So what we'll see now is a new sub page created called policies and what we'll do uh, and here we can here we can add our policies and we click save now you'll notice on this policies page that it has add files and comments now sh you can choose to keep comments on a page or if you want to have the comments turn up somewhere else because too hard to track here or, or whatever the reason. You can just go in and change on every page, um, page settings, and untick allow comments, untick allow attachments, and click save. So there's our, and you'll notice that they're bang, they're gone. There's our uh, policies document. So you go back up to home, and we want to add another page, and we'll call that procedures. It's a web page. But this time we want to put it at the top level. The reason I'm doing that is just to show the difference. So procedures. Now under procedures, you just add sub pages. So you can see uh, procedures is um, under home, uh, the same level as home, but policies is a sub component of home. You can have it either way, it doesn't really matter. But so we've got procedures. Here are all our company procedures. And we've got that same issue of add files and comments being there. The moment I haven't found a way uh, that removes them by default, it adds them by default. Um, so manage page, page settings, allow comments, allow that. Now we want to leave show page title and show links to sub pages. The reason why is about to create a sub page. How do you create a sub page? So you're in procedures, you click on add create page, and uh, this will be our um, tax invoice procedure. Web page, you want to put it under procedures and you want to click there, create. Boom, uh, boom, right. So remove the add files and comments again or over time you might just want to leave them and uh, uh, page settings boom boom and then if you want to edit that page uh, you want to type in so this is one of the uh, good things about it is um, that you can change your policies on the fly uh, our policy is always to provide a tax invoice for want of a better policy, I guess, um, and save. Now, uh, if over time you want to change your workflow, you want to change a particular policy, uh, you can just come in. Uh, you as the administrator have uh, edit page rights. So that, there we have it. Um, our company internet uh, set up uh, for you only to see it now and you, you haven't shared it but we can do that down the track now I'd like you to um, pop over to my page and go down to the bottom and subscribe to the newsletter and also pop over to uh, Google Plus and um, what do you do over there you like it over there I guess and also go to our uh, Facebook page and like our Facebook page. What I'll do is every now and again release a little bit more videos, but if you comment, provide comment on the page that uh, contains this video about what you want to see, 
uh, and what you want to learn about, uh, that'll help guide me in what I um, create in the help uh, how-to video series. Anyway, thanks very much for listening, and I hope um, hope this has helped. Cheers. See ya.